Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here in today's video we'll be finally taking a look at the Winlater Frost version 9.0 which was released just few days ago now Winlater Frost is basically a fork version of the normal Winlater with additional features additional graphics driver DX wrapper compatibility improvements and much more now in terms of minimum requirements it is stated that you need at least Android version 8 or above for Winlater Frost turn it for Adreno 6 and 7 series GPUs at the moment Adreno 8 series Snapdragon 8 Elite 7S Gen 3 are not working currently you have to use Virgil or Votek if you are using these type of GPU so obviously in the Winlater 9.0 we got Votek graphics driver and yeah it is also added in Winlater Frost and Votek is currently experimental so other chips like MediaTek Exynos Kirin Unisoft won't work if you use Virgil then it is supported for all chips so that's pretty great i guess anyways right here is the change log of official Win later frost version 9.0 P root build not the glyphsy build you guys will be able to see lot of new options have been added and reconfigurations updated VKD 3D to 2.14.1 so this is the latest brand new version of VKD 3D that isn't present in any version of Win later Android added some missing fonts some improvements and bug fixes have been made also text issues in some games may be fixed new box 64 versions have been added and we have some additional notes that if we are using Votek graphics driver do not use DX VK 2.4.1 or 2.5.3. Now after the 9.0 update we got 9.0 version 1.2 about 3 days ago and this contained few fixes for the version 9.0. For example, updated the latest turnip driver, fixed wind D3D missing and small fixes. I have already added the Winlater Frost 9.0 latest benchmark version on my Android device and if you want to see a gameplay test comparison between Game Hub and Winlater Frost then let's hit 200 likes on today's video and let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, let's launch winlater frost and make sure to use the benchmark build of winlater frost for better performance and by the way game hub emulator mali gpu support is also present now so mali gpu gameplay test video for that is also coming pretty soon hit that subscribe button because we have lot of amazing videos coming to you in the next week anyways let's start setting up the winlater frost here we'll go to settings box 64 version is by default the latest 0.3.3 which works very fine so we'll keep it as default box 64 preset as usual we'll set it to performance safe lag like set it to 0 tap on okay and let's tick mark now we'll create a new container here in terms of container resolutions we don't really get some amazing resolutions like we get in winlater wb64 i think wb64 is also an very amazing fork version of winlater android But for today's video we'll go with 960 by 544p resolution in terms of graphics driver we'll go with votek graphics driver as the device which i'm using today has snapdragon 8 elite now in terms of turnip drivers the latest 25.0.8 has also been added so you can go with turnip driver if you have a snapdragon processor android device virgil is also present for mali gpu android devices but let's go with votek DX wrapper is DXVK and version will go with 1.7.2 audio driver set it to pulse audio afterwards scroll down Video memory size set it to 4 GB as usual and in terms of advanced settings box 64 preset make sure to choose the performance preset which we just created Once that has been done that's about it in terms of best settings I'll just go ahead and add a separate drive for my games and yeah that's about it let's create our brand new container and run it on our android device Now I am very interested to see how well does this emulator perform on my android device Snapdragon 8 Elite obviously in game hub I get 60 plus fps while emulating GTA 5 that too pretty stable no stuttering issues compared to the official winlater android 9.0 update which to be honest has some performance issues i am not even going to lie winlater 8.0 had way better performance than 9.0 nonetheless in winlater frost you get additional settings such as being able to choose the renderer common fixes for games like unity games etc and even d3d test let's just go ahead and test direct 3d to see how much fps do we get in the official winlater android 9.0 i was getting anywhere from 2400 to 2500 FPS but here you guys will be able to see i am getting from 2500 to 3000 FPS in this direct 3D test so i think the performance might be a bit better in winlater frost we'll need to find that out so anyways let's just go ahead and test out our game for today's video which is going to be dragon ball sparking zero i have created a shortcut for it as you will be able to see let's go to settings and make sure to enable force full screen in advanced settings afterwards tap on okay and then let's run our game input profile by the developer of winlater frost are also present here we'll go with the general input profile but unfortunately for some reason it seems that the game is not starting as you'll be able to see the ram usage is not accurate So I'll just go ahead and exit this game and try out a different game. We'll go with Assassin's Creed Rogue and let's see if it works or not. Immediately the first thing which I'm able to notice as soon as the game started it looks like 
The game has frozen once again and the RAM capacity is not going over 673 MB and everything seems to have frozen. Which is a bit weird because in Winlater 9.0 normal version, this never happens. So I think there is definitely some sort of incompatibility issue with the latest version of Winlater Frost. Nonetheless, let's try out GTA 5. It is the last resort anyways. Nothing to complain about. And here we go. Looks like game is about to boot. So there we go GTA 5 has actually booted and let's see the RAM usage because both of the other games were getting stuck at 670 MB of RAM usage but well GTA 5 is working properly so let's find out how well does it actually work with the Vortex graphics driver and here we go well 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 surprisingly GTA 5 is the only game it froze for a second so I thought it's a gone case but nope the game actually booted and you will be able to see how unstable this game actually is on a Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device inside the Winlater Android. I am barely getting 30 FPS and lot of stuttering issues are present here and there whereas in Game Hub emulator I was getting 60 to 90 FPS while emulating this AAA title on my Android device and you will also be able to see the on screen touch controls are very sensitive in Winlater Android so even little movements like this will take you off the screen. So I think uh, using controller is the best option. Aside from the Snapdragon 8 Elite performance on all other devices, Winlater Android 9.0 is not that worth it. You can go with Winlater Glipsy 7.1.5 which was just released I guess yesterday. It will be a way better option in terms of performance. So anyways do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this brand new version of Winlater Frost and how well does it work on your Android devices. I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.